Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus has been invisibly present since 1914. When people say that's not really happening, they say that they are the ones who can see just the spiritual minded people can see that Jesus is truly present. Where does that belief really start? The story, in fact, begins as early as Jesus' resurrection. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus resurrected as a spiritual being and that God took care of his body and that his body was never found again, ever, so that Jesus was resurrected an invisible spirit and that he only materialized and presented himself to the disciples. Even at resurrection, they believe that Jesus actually, actually had to go back to this, his previous pre-human state. His pr previous status was the one of an angel. They have to adjust all their beliefs and all the instances where the, the general believed that Jesus had a pre-human existence. We have an expression here, hold water anymore. So what's the account of Jesus' resurrection? You may be surprised to find discrepancies between uh, the Bible account on Jesus' resurrection and what does the um, society's literature say about it. And as they were saying these things, he himself stood among them. He said to them, peace to you. But they were startled and terrified as though they were seeing a ghost. Why are you troubled? He asked them. Why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. Having said this, he showed them his hands and feet. But while they were still amazed and unbelieving because of their joy, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate in their presence. So how do Jehovah's Witnesses interpret Jesus' resurrection? Following his resurrection, Jesus did not always appear in the same body or Flesh, perhaps to reinforce in their minds the fact that he was then a spirit. Now check this out. Jesus did not always appear in the same body of flesh, perhaps to reinforce in their minds the fact that he was then a spirit. Now let's go back to the Bible. They were terrified because they, were, they thought they were seeing a ghost. And then he said to them, Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh. Some other translations say, spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. So why does the Watchtower literature so obviously contradict the words of Jesus? Uh, not only that, um, by claiming that Jesus, as it continues here, however, by his repeatedly appearing to them in materialized bodies, and then saying and doing things that they would identify with the Jesus they knew, he strengthened their faith in the fact that he truly had been resurrected from the dead. So in other words, Jesus openly cheated his disciples by showing them a body that was not truly his, that he presented the body with wounds. I don't know about you, but if somebody acted like this to me, I would call it cheating. His body was not really is all. Why would he trick this, his disciples? Some time ago, I did research on the so-called Gnostics, I believed that all material things were bad. And actually, what um, the Bible writers did, they, in a way, counteract that notion that Jesus resurrected as a spirit. And that's why Luke recorded this very instance. I believe that's part of the hoax. Why is body not to be... Um, resurrected physically but just spiritually now let's look up two verses also from the same 24th chapter and while they were discussing and arguing jesus himself came near and began to walk along with them but they were prevented from recognizing and um, in a way god in a supernatural way made them not recognize him right away and then what happened led to Luke 24, 31. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. Apparently, there was nothing wrong with his appearance because then they recognized him when their 
eyes were open. So the problem was in their eyes, not in his body. His body was the same, but yet their eyes were in a way made that way that they cannot recognize him. And this reminds me of an account when Jesus healed a blind man. That's, the account is from Mark 8, 22 to 26. He looked up and said, I see people, they look to me like trees walking. Again, Jesus placed his hands on the man and he saw distinctly. He was cured and could see everything clearly. Do you see this, this process of gradual opening of the eyes? And now Jehovah's Witnesses know we're being told why Jesus did it. He had sympathy and empathy for the feelings of the blind man. If he had showed him the world clearly as it is, it might have been a shock. Now, wouldn't it be a shock for the disciples to Jesus right away? It is. They were already afraid of spirits. So he kind of gradually made them realize that it was him. It was they first recognized what he did, and then he openly allowed their eyes to see him.